Hey friends, welcome to the Styx Solar Energy Project. Before we dive right into the story, we thought it'd be helpful to share with you a little bit about what solar energy is. Have you ever seen one of these before? We're going to be sharing more and more about those in the coming videos, but they are super prominent and called solar panels. What they do is they take the sunlight and energy from the sun and convert it into usable energy for our power grid. So with that being said, let's dive into it. As you might know, Sticksville is a new, growing city and it's looking for innovative ways to supply energy to the community. Leaders are specifically trying to stay away from power plants that burn fossil fuels and invest in clean, renewable energy, specifically solar power. Did you know that every time we turn on the air conditioning, make chicken nuggets, or even charge our cell phones in the wall, we use energy? Are you up to test out a small solar panel and put it through some different experiments to see if it makes sense for Sticksville to implement them and help power their homes, businesses, and infrastructure? So per usual, let's start with just a little bit of history. And the first related historical event to solar panels was when a French physicist in the mid 1800s discovered what's called the photovoltaic effect. And what happens here is he discovered that an electric current started to be produced when he saw that something was exposed to the sun. The thing is when major discoveries with major implications like that happen, it sparks all kinds of creative people, companies and governments to start to explore and research that technology. They start to look into things like the materials used for it, the data around it, how they can apply it, and all kinds of cool stuff. For an example here close to home, in the 1970s, the United States had what's called an energy crisis, when there simply wasn't enough energy for all the demand. So what they did is they created millions of dollars of incentives and grants for universities and companies to explore this technology and help further develop it, so they could hopefully use solar energy as an option to help solve their energy crisis. But let's fast forward to today. Remember, the world has all sorts of energy sources, like burning fossil fuels, solar energy, wind turbines, and plenty more. Can you quickly pause this video and brainstorm and ask a neighbor, what percentage of all of the United States energy do you think comes from solar right now? The quick answer is although the solar industry is huge and expanding and doing cool things, as of right now, it still provides less than 3% of our total energy. So that question is actually a great transition into how this actually all relates to us today. Remember, like we mentioned earlier, solar is the talk of the town these days, and there's all kinds of innovation happening. For example, check out some of these images. Plus, we just let you know that only 2.8% of our current energy comes from solar. That's not enough, friends. We need to do a better job of taking advantage of the unlimited and reusable energy that comes from the sun. But another thing that engineers and designers are currently working on is although that safety and functionality are the number one priorities when it comes to new inventions, people do still care about looks. Check out this project. This is a topic because solar panels aren't exactly known for being pretty, but what these engineers are working on are making them look like real, normal roof tiles so people can put beautiful solar panels right on their roof and they won't stick out. Finally, friends, just to share with you how seriously the federal government is taking this topic, they just increased their budget by 16.7 billion dollars for renewable energy initiatives. That is a ton of money and it's going to be up to you all to use that money and take advantage of those grants to help make meaningful change. So by the time this project is all wrapped up, we just want you to be a little bit more familiar with solar panels and solar energy and how it works. You're going to get a chance to build one and mess around with some of these solar concepts for yourself and take a project home. And you're even going to get to hear from a professional in the field and hear what they have to say about working in the solar industry. See you guys in the next video.